Goody do time tots. I'm Skur. I play the surgeon in Doctor Law. Oh well, <clears throat> until I nobly uh, sacrifice myself in um, yeah, the doctors who saved Xmas. But anywho, right, <clears throat> we are talking about the edge of destruction. Uh, the doctor's got a pen torch. Is that the beginning of the sonic screwdriver? Uh, but getting ahead of myself there. Anyway, uh, Tardis rocks and everyone falls over. Wake up with a bit of amnesia. Susan attacks the uh, couch with some scissors and Barbara figures out most of it. Uh, yeah, and it turns out uh, Switch is stuck. There's a bit of a springy stuck in the uh, Tardis console. Fast return Switch and... Yeah, it's a bit creepy. Takes a while for the crew to sort it out, figure it out. Ian did say it was alive in the pilot, so why it takes them ages to figure out the target. Tardis itself is trying to communicate, I would never know. It is the fifth character. Um, but yeah, uh, two episodes, two different directors. Uh, very tense and dark, and then, yeah. Uh, it helps the characters grow a bit, and yeah, it's pretty good. Yay! That's my first review. Hey, hey, nice. Now, I'd say an interesting point is that the uh, the robes that Susan and Barbara wear are they Gallifreyan robes? Maybe uh, some kind of fashion from uh, Gallifrey. Don't know, but. I think um, it's a good story as well, so I agree with Skr, <laughs> doesn't happen often. Anyway, the final point to make is the picture identified by Susan, that's where they lost the TARDIS four or five journeys ago. The Doctor calls it the planet Quinnus in the fourth universe, so that hints at further series of journeys and maybe the TARDIS can go beyond the known universe uh, so good. and there's also some good special features inside the spaceship of the edge making of um, Masters of Sound with Brian Hodgson and the Radiophonic Workshop talk about their work and Doctor Who Origins which talks about the origin of the series so all quite good um, so yeah a nice little episode and coming up next is Marco Polo. Yeah.